Then there's this pre Alzheimer's disease. Some of you may have heard of the concept of mild cognitive impairment, MCI. All that means, <clears throat> the thing about memory is we, if we wake up and our memory is drastically different, our language skills are drastically different overnight, that's not Alzheimer's disease. That's a stroke. That's a tumor. That's something that has happened to that person immediately. Alzheimer's disease is a slow process that takes a lot of time and it develops over decades. So when you get into the pre-Alzheimer's, all this means is memory has changed or language or something about their thinking has changed, but they still function. When you cross over into the dementia diagnosis, what that means is the person can no longer function by themselves. Someone else has to manage things for them. My wife says I'm demented already. <laughs> she manages me. Um, so here it gets some interesting things. Approximately 15% of those diagnosed with MCI will convert to Alzheimer's disease every 12 months. But that's only 15%. About 15% actually, quote unquote, revert. So MCI as a prodromal pre-syndrome doesn't mean someone is slated to have Alzheimer's disease. It means they are at significant risk for the disease. I'm just going to press the wrong buttons. So it's estimated that 10 to 30 percent of those age 65 and above suffer from MCI. So when you combine that with Alzheimer's disease and other dementia statistics, 15 to 40 percent of individuals 65 and above are suffering from memory loss or some other cognitive loss. Explains Congress. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs>